Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here on Twitter, Sputnik News reported that the Earth has entered an unknown as the magnetic North Pole continues to push towards Russia. Crosses the Greenwich Meridian. Um, it seems to accelerate the shift of our magnetic pole, moving about 30 miles a year. Scientists have expressed concerns that the shift of the magnetic field and the weakening of our magnetic field will have some very significant effects upon Earth. Without our magnetic field, the Earth, if it was impacted by a solar flare, could affect everything from satellites to our power systems. Everything with a chip would be fried. Even with our magnetic field completely intact, if we had another event such as the Carrington event, which was in 1859, there would be trillions of dollars in damage upon the Earth. The last magnetic field reversal occurred about 800,000 years ago, and the scientists are not in agreement if we're overdue for another flip or if it's going to take centuries for another flip to occur. But some scientists believe the heating of the Earth's core um, might have something to do with the effects, what's going on with the Earth's magnetic field and the movement of our magnetic north and south. Prior to that, there would be uh, field changes in little locations, kind of like um, the divots on a golf ball. It definitely would affect our weather, our jet stream would affect the migration of birds and other migratory animals. With all the strange reports of the activity of uh, birds, um, unknown deaths, makes you wonder if it's already occurring. A shift of the magnetic north of 30 miles a year is, yeah, fairly significant, I would say, especially when it comes to our GPS. Yeah, and how does that affect the migratory animals? You know, the military depends on GPS for targeting for war, right? And other things, I suppose. The magnetic north moved slowly from 1590 to 1990, and then it started to accelerate. Another oddity, even though the magnetic north is moving, the magnetic south hasn't moved in about 100 years. I believe it was about a year ago. There was reports that the uh, um, Earth's core at the uh, North Pole was heating up. Yeah, there was streams of um, what they call a jet stream, possibly, bringing up the uh, heated magma from the core of the Earth. And they think maybe, just maybe, that's what's causing the rapid increase of the shift of the magnetic field. Other reports are stating that the magnetic field um, north, the North Pole, the direction where your compass points, is actually moving about 34 miles a year. There was a question posted on Twitter. It says, does the movement with regards to magnetic North Pole affect global weather? Well, they do know that it affects the jet stream. That's a fact. They also ask, will the current ice cap melt and reform? Is global warming real or a natural global occurrence? I don't know. Do you? can't make money on the truth. They don't know when the geomagnetic reversal will happen. It's all speculation. Eventually it will snap like a rubber band. And yeah, you know, the last time that happened, north and south didn't settle down in one day. Geomagnetic reversal is when north becomes south and south becomes north. But the last time that happened, the direction of north and south bounced around for about 2,000 years. Other scientists said it lasted about 20,000 years. During that time, there was great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And in my opinion, with the weakening of the magnetic field, uh, this is why we're seeing an increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.